Hi, recently I got to collaborate with a friend who just recently started using Clip Studio Paint. And with how coincidentally this month has a category about using vector layers, I thought this is the perfect way to make a tutorial on one of the coolest features in Clip Studio Paint. Vector layers. Why are vector layers useful? Well, let me first explain why using them can save you countless hours. Let's say we draw an awesome sketch, and then we do the line art, and then we realize the resolution was really low. Well, if you drew it with a vector layer, you can just rescale the line art to be as big as you want without losing any line quality. When we will draw on a vector layer, we will get vector lines, which will always have crisp and sharp lines, because they aren't dependent on resolution. Vector lines are based on mathematical equations, which will make them ideal if you have a smaller tablet too. We also sometimes draw a line that crosses another one, and we delete the intersection. And then we are left with this annoying little indent. But vector layers you can just delete the whole access line in like a second. Anyways, it's worth the time to check out what vector layers are all about. So first, let's get our sketch down. Now, in our layers window, we go to this button right next to the new layer button. New vector layer. We have now created a new vector layer. Like a normal layer, you can use whatever brush you want to use for your line art, for both smooth, textured, and opacity brush works. As I line up my sketch, I also run into the issue where I overdraw my line quite a bit, as we mentioned earlier. So an easy way to fix that is using a vector eraser that is unique to vector layers. Using an eraser that has the vector eraser option enabled, along with the erase up to intersection sub option selected, you can easily delete any excess line that you overdrew. And you can even go ahead and use the erase touched area sub options to erase freely, and the whole line sub options to erase the whole line with the smallest touch. Vector layers also work with curves, which allow you to change the shape of the line as you wish, and it even works with shapes like circles, squares, and polygons, which can be immensely useful for a variety of things. One of the most useful parts about vector lines is being able to move them. By going to the Correct Line tool with the Subtool and Tool Property windows open, you can select the Control Point option in the Subtool window. And then, under the Tool property, navigate to the Move Control Points, which will allow you to change the position of different control points that will appear on the line you drew. Which is incredibly useful when you're trying to just slightly adjust your line to fit the sketch. By looking at the Tool property, you can take to attention that you can perform the following useful actions. Moving control points, adding control points, and deleting control points and even a few more like adjusting the line width that can be immensely helpful in stylizing your lines. Which leads me into this amazingly useful subtool, the aptly named Pinch Vector Line. If you are like me and you don't always want to deal with control points to adjust your line, you can use the Pinch Vector Line tool to adjust your line without manually adjusting each individual control point. Speaking of dealing with control points, you might run into this issue at some point where you have a bit too many control points for a line you've made and you just can't make sense of it. So we actually have a really great tool for this. Under your subtool window, you have the simplified vector line, which as you can see, really lets us take away some of the unneeded control points that makes the line a bit too complicated for manipulation. You can even change how much the tool will simplify the line, and if you wanted to delete access short lines, while of course having the ability to change the brush size. Another nice feature that the vector lines have that really helped me out when drawing, especially hair and clothes, is the redraw vector line subtool, as it literally lets you draw a stroke you already have at the same place. And if you have a line or two that you want to connect together, you can go to the connect line tool that will allow you to connect different lines together. I find this especially useful whenever I line out a character's hair, and then I want to manipulate it as one piece. Since we have control points and adjustable lines, we can actually go to the adjust line width or redraw vector line width, whichever you find more comfortable to use, and start stylizing our line art. As I mentioned earlier, vector lines are always crisp and sharp, and that really helps us out in two ways. First, if you noticed, I actually drew the line art way too small. So now, when I resize the line art, it won't lose any line quality, and that's really, really nice. Also, just like a normal layer, we can change the blending mode of a vector layer so I can set it to multiply, while I set down my flats to make it easier to see the lines. And it will be easy to set it as a reference layer by clicking this lighthouse looking button. And on the layer below, start making some flats, which took me less than like 2 minutes. 
Now I'm gonna teach you a few small personal tricks I love using with vector layers that I learned by experimenting with various tools. Do you like shaded line arts like I do? Well, if you want to create this sort of shading, but with little to no real effort, all you have to do is go ahead and make a new vector layer on top of your finished line art. And then you hash pretty liberally, similar to this. And then we are going to use the eraser tool with the erase up to intersection option to select and delete the excess lines. Then we will change the correct line tool with the adjust line width subtool. Setting it to narrow on the tool properties, we can start making the lines taper off where we want them. Rinse and repeat to get this sort of shading. And I really recommend you play with some of the vector layers and explore all of the options yourself. You'll be surprised how versatile and useful they really are. They can really shorten the amount of time it takes you to create any type of illustration. Clean lines go a long way for renderings as well, and line art is awesome for manga style art. And I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. Vector layers are based on mathematical equations, which makes them ideal if you have a smaller drawing tablet too. <laughs>